Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan, welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith, I have some really riveting content for you. Pardon the awful joke, but um, I'm going to be turning all of these into 16mm rivets, uh, which is going to be fun. I'm going to use this for the rivet tool and uh, hopefully you'll see some footage of me doing the actual machining. Whether or not that's going to be any good or not, I have no idea, but I'm going to give it a go. And um, it's absolutely freezing in here, so um, it's cold and hopefully I can get on with some forging pretty quickly and uh, get these rivets made. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work out how much material we need to make the rivets. And to do that, it's quite simple, uh, it just involves a little bit of mass and all you need to do is remember this. It's not really an equation, it's just what you need to remember. What you need to do is take the material that's going to be held together by the rivet. So in this case, it's an upright for some railings and then uh, two halves of, a, uh, two halves of the, um, the cross bars that are going in. And they're all gonna get riveted together. Um, not all of them are the same, but most of them are like that. And then I need to add um, two, two times, one and a half the diameter of the rivet stock. So if this was 10 mil, I would be adding two lots of 15 mil, but it's not, it's 16 mil, so I'm adding uh, two lots of 24 mil on top of um, the existing rivet size. So I've got to pass 41 millimeters of material in order to get through all of the stock, and then I need to have 48 millimeters of uh, stock itself for the rivet heads. Uh, that gives me a total of about 89 millimeters, so that's why these are 89 millimeters long. Now I also need um, to make the tool, the snap, uh, and in order to make the snap I am going to take um, some of this O1 tool steel, I can't remember the diameter of the O1 tool steel, I will okay, let you know in a second, and I'm going to drill a hole through the centre, I'm going to face the sides off first and I'm going to machine it to um, the height which will be uh, A, which is this here, plus half of B, because I only want to put one rivet head on, on this example. So when I come to close them, when I come to put the railings together basically, that will make the other half of the rivet. Uh, and that gives me a size, uh, that gives me a piece of material that needs to be 65 millimeters in height. Um, I'm sure the American will appear somewhere. And then also I need to drill a hole in here, which is the diameter of the rivet, which is 16 mil. But, the rivet's going in hot. Now, I was always told to add 1% to the thickness of the material once hot. I think it was 1%. But I'm not going to bother adding 1%. I'm just going to add. Uh, I'm just going to add 0.5 onto the size drill. So I'm going to drill these out at 6. Point, uh, sorry, 16.5 mil. But the drill's going to have a bit of play, a bit of walk in it. So that's probably going to take me closer to 1.8. So you know, it's not quite 1%, but it's good enough. Uh, and that's everything, I think. I hope that was clear as muck. Right, let's go on. Uh, so this is my Clark metal worker, six speed lathe. It's cheap, it's nasty, and it's probably from China. Um, and there's a slight old Tony feel about this video so far. Um, <laughs> so basically what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna face this off. I've just measured this, it needs to be 65. It's like 65.7 or something like that, um, which is a touch on the close side, if you ask me. I've already faced off this side because it was all wiggling all over the place. Um, and now I'm just gonna face this side off and then I'm gonna center out with a drill and just punch a 16.5 mil drill bit through it. I am not a machinist by any measures. I am not good at this and I don't profess to be a professional. Might have a handful of, um, uh, handful of experiences using lathes, most of them where I worked on the lathes myself after watching someone else do stuff. So if I do anything wrong and there are any bad habits uh, or anything like that, just let me know. Um, be nice about it. Um, and um, yeah, I wait for the, on <laughs> the uh, onslaught to begin. Right, let's get this faced off.
still a bit warm, but it's come out all right. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's about to get the living daylights kicked out of it, so um, it's nice and warm. Right. So, gonna slide those bad boys in. Doof, 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 doof. Give them a good tap with a hammer. Um, I'm not gonna do these under the power hammer to start with. I'm gonna do these by hand and see how we go. And um, I might try the odd one under the power hammer. It's just gone eight o'clock. It's 10 past eight. So I'm gonna see how many I can get done by nine o'clock. So I'm gonna chuck these in the fire and uh, start making some rivets. So far, so good. If anything, a little bit easy. Uh, so um, I've just put the Massey on. Well, I turned the converter on. I'm gonna put the Massey on and we try a few under the power hammer. A bit squish squish under the power hammer. Um, this is getting really hot, so it's getting quite hard to hold. But we'll see what happens anyway. I'm not expecting the Massey to do very well uh, and I'm well overdue a fail today. <laughs> I like the way they come out from under the Massey better than I do the way I was doing them. Um, but they, yeah, they, they, that was too easy. I think the Massey, the, the no-eyed freak that she is at the minute, sorry girl, um, I need to replace the googly eyes, but I'm just too busy at the minute. Um, she's, she just, she's 
the ultimate squisher, isn't she? I'm pretty sure she could do them cold um, and she wouldn't even notice. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because um, I don't want to get them stuck in the tool that we made. But a little bit of a different video, a bit of lathe work, uh, making rivets. I know I've done rivets before, but these are I've got to do them anyway. I thought I'd make a video. Uh, so um, they're decorative. They're not preci as precise as I would like them. If I, if these were to go into a boiler, I would be you know making the top part of the snap, uh, making it so that everything was very uniformed and central. Uh, these are kicking off to one side a little bit. That's all right. Once they're in the railings, no one's going to notice anyway. Uh, you can fiddle around with them um, a little bit. I think that's about everything for this episode. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, uh, remember to ring that little bell next to the subscribe button. That will give you notifications whenever I make a video. And uh, chuck something down in the comments. Let me know what you think about my machine work. Uh, I'm not sure that um, I'm the best machinist in the world. I have some basic skills, but um, that is it. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the rivets. I've I've done, I don't know, there's probably about 15, 16 there. I found a few more on the floor earlier as well. But th there's a few there uh, that are definitely gonna get used. Uh, and um, I've got another two, uh, another whole length, another six meters to chop up should I wish to make more rivets, which will be fine. Uh, and we're gonna do the rest tomorrow morning. I've got a few more bits to do tomorrow and uh, that's everything. So thanks for joining me guys. I will leave the video up here of me making some samples for a job, which we got. Uh, and also I will chuck another video of some random thing down here. This is Patreon if you wanna help the channel. That's a great way to do it. And um, subscribe, see you guys later. Bye-bye.